Good morning, dear friends. This is Pastor Roy from Chesapeake, Virginia. She sent Roy in Pastor Romania. And I'm speaking to you today with some thought that I have in my heart. I trust it'll be a blessing to you. And the, the thought is this. As uh, exemplified by the story I'm going to tell you about the, the party they were having to celebrate the newborn infant. And the older sister was to take care of the infant while the people, the guests, were arriving to all celebrate the birth of the newborn. And so the older sister put the child in the um, kid's cradle and um, protected the, the child, kept the child warm by putting a, a coat, her coat, over the little crib. And as the guests were coming and arriving, they saw a coat on the crib. And so naturally they put their coat on top of the other coats, thinking that was where the coats were to go, and as they were celebrating and singing and rejoicing and everything like that, it was time to bring out the infant. And they looked for the infant. They couldn't find the child until they took the coats off the little crib, and there was the child gasping for breath. And I wonder sometimes if we are not akin to them you know we're we're celebrating and we're doing a lot of things but the one for whom we are celebrating is kind of covered up and kind of gasping for breath and we need to remember that we need to keep the the main thing the the main thing and i think the scriptures are absolutely clear that the ultimate questions of life one of them is, why am I here on earth? And I think as Christians, the, the response to that is absolutely clear. Jesus said, this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. And indeed, we could be encumbered about with many things, building a large church, building a large congregation, building a powerful ministry, uh, reaching many souls for Jesus Christ and uh, uh, doing great music and ministries and so on. And those are all wonderful and admirable and so on. But is it the main thing? And I think we all know that if you have tasted of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you have received the forgiveness and the mercy that comes through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, then you would say with the Apostle Paul, I want to know him. I want to know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. And may the cry of our hearts be, I want to know him. And does not God say that? He says, uh, thou shalt love, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy strength, with all thy soul, with all thy might, with all thy whatever, with all that is within, with the whole being. Have a lovership relationship with God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ by the revelation and the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the ultimate joy of life. That's the ultimate goal of life. And only there can we be satisfied. I've had a church. I pastored a church. We didn't have enough room for all the people. I have seen the hand of God and the miracles and the wonders and the signs. Been there, done that. And I remember leaving this service grateful but saying, God, I want to know you. Not just to see the work of thy hand, but to know you and to have fellowship with you. And indeed, I believe that's the, the hunger and the desire of people throughout the ages even Moses, he saw the hand of God. He, he saw the miracles. He was part of the miracles. 
He was an instrument in God's hand for the for the uh, for the miracles. But what did he say? This is what he said. He said, "In thy presence is fullness of joy, and at the right hand of the uh, uh, our pleasures forevermore." And uh, Moses in Psalm, I think it's uh, 91, said, "He that dwelleth, he that dwelleth in the secret place." Have you got a secret place? Have you been there? It's secret, not because nobody knows about it, but because only you can be there. You can't bring other people with you. It's just you and God. You can't bring your wife, your friend, your brother. It's a secret place because only you and God are in that place of sweet communion that you want to lean on his breast, be snuggled in his arms so he can whisper to you or not. Just be together. Well, I pray that we will know him and hunger after him, that he might indeed satisfy the deepest yearnings of our heart. Thank you for listening. That's my thought for today. God bless you. And uh, I'll be back. Goodbye. Goodbye.